Hello everyone. We're going to do a quick preview of the new kernel attack section of the offensive development course from White Knight Labs. I'm Jake Mayhew, one of the instructors for the course and the director of offensive operations at White Knight. We've added tons of new content in modules for Bring Your Own Vulnerable Driver or BYOVD attacks to target and blind EDR telemetry in the Windows kernel. The goal is for red teamers and OPSEC professionals to be able to implement these attacks in their code to model advanced threat actors. Today, we're gonna to look at one type of kernel mode telemetry leveraged by modern EDRs, which is the process creation notification callback. A kernel callback is a routine or function that is triggered and run upon some system event. In this case, it's new processes being created or processes being terminated. This allows an EDR to inspect and respond if needed to malicious activity by either kill killing a new process or triggering an alert. Also, it can inject a function hooking DLL, if that's how the EDR is architected, to be able to hook specific functions and track telemetry on the different activities going on in that new process. When a new process is created, the kernel will reference an array of handles in memory. It will resolve those handles to function pointers and run each function in the array. We're going to inspect this telemetry and attack it, mimicking a vulnerable driver attack using WinDebug. On the screen, you should see a Guacamole instance with our lab system from the course. We've loaded a custom driver that simply registers for process creation events and prints out um, to a buffer the events. And then we have a client program called Paladin Client that consumes these events from user mode and communicates with the kernel to receive the buffer. So it's very simple. And we can test this process by just creating a random new process. Let's just start Notepad++. And if we go back to our client, we see Notepad++ is created. Now an EDR will, will track much more information for this, including like token information, arguments, and all that kind of stuff. But here it's just a simple POC. So we can go back and close Notepad++ and we should see process termination events as well. So we can inspect in the kernel with WinDebug where these events are implemented by looking at the array in memory and tracking which function it goes to. So here we have our kernel debugger in WinDebug and we can just verify that we're working with LMM and T and we get the base address for the kernel and a symbol file successfully loaded. So we can also do that again for WKLmon, which is our driver that we have that registers for the process events. So now we can do a DQS, so that's dump keywords with symbols of the function, or sorry, excuse me, the array address in memory, which is NT, so that's the module, and then bang is to separate that from the symbol and the symbol is going to be PSP create process notify routine. And so we're going to dump hex 10 keywords from this array. And we see, I don't know, about 10 or so handles to function pointers that will be run whenever a new process is created. And so it just walks this list and runs each of them. So we're going to look at this last one, which is in all likelihood going to be our target driver's entry, and I'm going to resolve the handle to the actual function pointer here, which we'll go over more in the course, and then we're just going to do L1 just to list one entry. And we see WKLmon, so it's a function pointer to an offset in the WKLmon driver, indicating to us that this is the process creation notification handler function in our EDR driver. And so all we really need to do here is just zero out this array and then it won't see it anymore. So we can do EQ for edit keyword and we give it the address in the array and hit zero. And then we'll do DQS again of the array. And we see that it's no longer listed in the array. And you have to be really careful because you could crash the system if you give it the wrong address, right? And now let's go back to our Paladin client where we should be receiving these events and we're not getting anything new. And so let's just verify this real quick. And I'm going to start and stop Notepad++ 
which should generate a process creation event. And then when we kill it, it should register a process termination event. And as we can see, nothing new showed up because we've removed that entry from the array. So if this was a system with a, a real EDR on it, we would remove that same related entry to the EDR driver. And then any net new processes would not be tracked by the EDR. And we can move on the system a lot more stealthily. So if you're interested in learning more about these attacks and how to implement them for your engagements, join us in the next iteration of the Offensive Development course from White Knight Labs.